to separate academics and sports is ridiculous because they complement each other. It keeps you rounded, it keeps you healthy, mentally and physically. That's Naomi Barkoy, a 17-year-old Queen's College student who copped 14 grade 1 passes and 1 grade 2 pass at this year's CSEC examinations. You might be surprised to find out that she was actively involved in cricket in the midst of her examinations as well. But even that might not be the most surprising or interesting thing. In a recent interview with the newsroom, the teenager opened up about how much being involved in cricket and a suite of other extracurricular activities complemented her studies and freed her from the occasional boredom of books. Well, unlike most students, my preparation didn't consist of sleepless nights. I refuse to give up my sleep. I molded my study regime to allow me to have most of the work done early in the morning where I know that I would be willing to focus because that's when the house is quietest. Or in the afternoons, just after school, I do a little reading which would tire me out so that I'd be able to sleep. It wasn't anything rigorous, it was just so that I could maximize the time that was available to me. I got an interest in cricket basketball, table tennis, and pretty much anything that could keep my interest and distract me from studies when I need to, it's just so that I won't get overwhelmed with the subjects. Uh, given the pandemic, I started moving away from sports and focusing on things that required a little bit more mental toughness. So things like Law Society, Debate Club, and Chess Club as well, which was online. I participated in a few regional tournaments that were online. And really it was just about me trying to find means of diverting my attention from studies whenever I needed to. Because sometimes, even though the studying wasn't rigorous, sometimes I just get bored and I needed something else to do. So what now? Though she believes that she has a knack for balancing several things at once, the young Barkoy does not feel as though she has to plan her entire future immediately. While she continues to pursue her interests, she has a strong support system behind her that is eager to see many more young women follow in her footsteps. She's a very disciplined um, young lady. Um, she always has a clear mindset of what she wants to do. And so it was, all we had to do is provide the resources. And wherever guidance or help is needed, we were there. We've always been confident in her ability. Um, as a matter of fact, um, even when she wanted to scale back on the extracurricular activities, I, I kept encouraging her because, you know, we, you know, the balance is always necessary with anything you're doing in life. I think, especially here in Guyana, we need to send that message clearly to all the young students entering the primary school that academics and sports can work. We need to provide that opportunity for them to to use it, we need to get information across in the school system, and so you can benefit. Next up for Barakoy could be law, economics, professional cricket, or a combination of those interests. Whatever it is, she thinks she's ready for the pace. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Fishani Ragabir.